Hey everyone, welcome back. So in this video, we are going to see about how to fetch the image and display in table format. So before getting started, if you are new to this channel, do subscribe and hit on the bell icon. So whenever I upload a new video, you will get a notification on it. Do follow me on my Instagram page as well. Let's get started. So so this was our previous video code and if you have not yet watched this video do watch it so that you will understand what is happening in this video i will give you guys the link in the description do check it out we have seen in previous video about how to insert image and in this video we are going to fetch fetch the data which is in our database such as uh, you can see as was student table so we are going to fetch the name phone email and image so let us go and fetch it in home.php. So here also we need the header and footer. So we'll just copy it from here. So copy, go to home.php and paste it. For now, we'll remove the session. And copy paste once again, change this to footer. So we have included header and footer. So here we are going to fetch in a table format. So for design purpose, you can go to get bootstrap and get. Before that, let me type container row column md12 card and we'll have card header. So we'll give this card header and an F4 tag php image crud fetch image from the database image with data will give from the database in php so this is our heading and after card header we'll have card body inside card body so give this as card body so inside card body we'll have a table let us go to get bootstrap to get the design of table so here type get bootstrap and uh, the latest is 5.3 click on doc and click on search and search for table tables you can see the sample table is given we can customize it let us copy the sample one and we'll customize it accordingly copy this and paste it here give control a and format document this is our table we'll just customize this according to our need let us remove this tr cut this tr and here give id name phone email and we have image so image student image so this is a table header let us go first reload this and see type here local local host slash neha codes image crud and here give home.php so you are able to see this let us make this container a little bit down and remove this data so remove this we have one tr using this we loop everything and here let us give this container and let us make this as 8 and give just t5 content center for table table ordered and now go and reload so you are able to see this but this container is not in center so just T5, make sure the spellings are correct and now reload. 
so you can see we have got our card in the center and we have got exactly a table and there are few data this is not the actual data this is just hard coded data which is the sample thing we want to fetch actually these data which is neha phone number and this and user image right so what we have to do is before that let us give a table color so table i will make this as success and now let me go and reload you can see it is in green color perfect okay now we want to fetch the actual data let us remove this and now first thing what we have to do is we have to write the php code here to fetch the data so if we write inside card these things also will get looped so we don't want to loop this header we are only going to loop the data which is here so what we'll do is we'll start writing the code from table body we are going to open close php first because this table is an html tag inside html we are going to write php so php should be opened and closed and here first thing we have to give is the connection so connection in previous video we have done in code.php let us copy this connection and paste it inside home.php now we have to write the code for fetching the data so let us write dollar fetch image query is a variable and here write the query which is select star from the table name is students copy this table name paste it here so we are going to select all the data which is in students table so after this we have fetch query run run is equal to using mysqli query we have to connect our database which is connection copy connect give a comma and connect this fetch image query variable give a semicolon now we have to check if that data is there we are going to loop else we will display in a table of format telling there is no data present in that particular table write a if condition to check if my sqli number of rows of this fetch query run is greater than 0 which means greater than 0 means there is data present then we we'll use for each loop for each loop and get all the data for each dollar fetch query run as dollar row so this row is a variable name you can give anything you want okay this is our first part if the data is present if the data is not present we'll write it in the else part you can echo but then we'll just cut the php and give a tr tr and here give call span as 1 2 3 4 and 5 5 and tell here no record found so this part will execute if there is no data if this table is empty now the table is not empty but we have two data so we will be fetching those data after this for loop we are going to echo dollar row of id so let us go and reload and check if this id is getting echoed go back and reload so here you can see id is getting echoed 1 and 2 now let us paste this inside this table data go here comment this line and here divide the php open 
PHP. Here we have to cut this TR and paste it. Format document. So now here we will be echoing this. So cut this echo ID and open close PHP. Paste it. Echo dollar row of ID. Similar way, we have phone number, email, and all. We'll do the same thing. We'll do the same thing. Copy, paste, 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 paste. Tell this as name, phone, email, and we have image. Now let us go and reload. You can see you're getting all the data which is there in your database. But here, the image, we are getting the image name, but we want to display the actual image which is this. Let us see how to do that. We have already written the code for that here. Like we are moving the image which is uploaded to uploads folder. So we will get it from this uploads folder. Go back to home and instead of image here, just cut this. Give a image tag and inside source we are going to echo PHP which is this. And here before echoing, we are going to concatenate the folder name within double quotes. So from where we have to get the images from this folder, right? So give you a folder name which is uploads and slash and halt give a name as image student image will give if we have given the all let us go and reload and check if that image is getting displayed reload so you can see both the images are displayed here but it is too big let us go set the height and width give as 75 and height give us 75 now go and reload you are able to see this actual image so that's it in this video in next video we'll see how to edit this image and update i hope this video was helpful and if you are new to this channel do subscribe and thank you for watching